Hey there, Trucker J here. Welcome back to my little channel. Today I am quite loopy. Um, I'm on Benadryl, so please bear with me. I just wanted to pop on and say hi because it's been a few days and I want to tell you about my week. It's been pretty crazy, you know, uh, probably the most frustrating and, um, and uh, edifying and uh, exciting weeks I've had at this company. So I get back from the trip uh, that I saw that tragic accident. Um, why I don't, why I remind myself of it, I don't know why. But anyway, I'm getting back. I got back from that trip. Uh, if you guys saw the last video, you'll know what I'm talking about. And uh, I think I'm gonna get some great rest and a decent run, and you know, just continue my routine of being by myself out here and uh, working. You know. And my boss comes up to me and asks me if I will train a new driver. Oh my gosh, man. I have dreaded this. I knew it was going to come down the pipe at some point. Uh, but I have dreaded this for several years. And I even toyed with the idea of quitting when they finally tried to uh, push me into it. Um, but I said yes. I'm the big yes man these days, uh, since you know we have a massive shortage, we don't have very many drivers and we have way too many loads every day. And I can see the stress my manager's under and I hate it for him. And I don't want us to lose customers, so I'm the yes man. So here I am, I am uh, looking at this daunting task of training somebody. I know that I stumble over my words, just like I do now. Um, I know that I'm, I know what I'm doing out here, but articulating that sometimes can be a challenge. And it just, it makes me really nervous uh, being put on the spot like that. But I found that I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it's very edifying, very, I use that word. I'm, I'm being redundant. I used that word a minute ago very edifying though I mean I'm on my second student right now and I call them students it's such a weird term uh, trainee whatever you want to call it these guys are old enough to be my dad and I'm sure they have more experience in, in uh, with various aspects of the industry than I ever will I feel like they could truck circles around me um, one of them is a 14 year veteran and the, the, the one I'm actually training right now is a 14-year veteran of um, working on oil rig platforms. So he knows fluids. He knows pressures. He knows uh, the physics of what we're doing out here with bulk uh, liquid logistics. And um, I'm looking at this giant of, uh, of skill, and I'm just this little truck driver, and I'm supposed to train him, I'm supposed to show him some things. So, you know, I'm really thankful for it. I'm really honored. Boss man, thanks for uh, trusting me to take care of uh, take care of these guys and uh, get them up to speed so we can get them to start pulling loads. Um, very honored to be able to do this. And um, why I say edifying, it really is true that when you're teaching somebody, you start to realize that you learn more from them than they're probably learning from you. Um, being put on the spot like this has really caused me to, to do some introspect introspection, <laughs> Benadryl loopiness. It's wonderful. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've been, uh, looking within, uh, quite a bit more because of it and, uh, realized just how many bad habits I have pertaining to Petri, uh, Petri, <laughs> PPE, pertaining to PPE, pertaining to um, just unloading procedures, consistency, um, consistency in the process and so forth. And uh, it's really cool. It's really cool uh, training these guys and uh, getting to know them. They've, they've both, so far, my first two trainer, trainees are uh, great, great people. Um, so very honored to be a part of this and to be a part of training the next group of drivers hopefully i can uh this young guy can uh impart some good ideas and uh help make them uh, very successful in their career 
So anyway, um, why am I stuck in Nashville? Well, so we start off on the second trip. I've got the second trainee, and uh, we're going on a 191-ish mile run. Very short. Um, we get within 10 miles of the customer, and our truck breaks down. We lose all of our coolant. We lose a belt, and I'm guessing we lost the coolant. Because we lost the belt, water pump, water pump couldn't do its job anymore. And uh, we end up we end up sitting there on the side of the road. I love it because, hey, I get paid to sit there at this point, and I can sit there and talk to this guy about all kinds of things um, that might not come to my mind where when we're in the uh, in the moment of doing the job. When I've got time to sit there and think about um, procedures, I can go through with him and you know just shoot the breeze about everyday life and get to know the guy as well. Uh, so we sit there for seven hours. Uh, a mechanic finally comes and fixes the truck. We go just down the road to the customer. And uh, mind you, we need PTO. We need power takeoff from our engine to unload this product. It happens again. We throw a belt. I'm not a mechanic, but obviously there's a problem, right? Now, this other guy from uh, the oil field, uh, he's, I think I mentioned that, yeah. He's a veteran from the oil field. He's very well versed in mechanical things, and he was able to figure out that some pulleys were messed up. And uh, we proceed to sit there and wait. I probably made two dozen phone calls to different people in the company and mechanics and uh, hotels and trying to line out a, uh, a proper plan to solve this problem. Um, at this point, the mechanics in that town aren't competent enough to uh, do the job right. I'm pretty sure that the mechanic that came out was on drugs, but that's a whole nother bag of beans to open, and I'm not going to do that. So anyway, I get a hold of my company, and uh, a company guy that's over, over the maintenance of our vehicles, and he hooks us up with a tow, and we have to be towed 98 miles back to Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, we drop the truck off. We can't even check it in because the uh, garage is closed. So we just leave it sitting there, hoping that nobody breaks into it or anything. I, I'm sure you can imagine how rough some of the areas, especially industrial areas, are in uh, Nashville. But we leave our truck there, and um, I proceed to, while, while we're in tow, I uh, try to line up a hotel. I don't know how many hotels I called, maybe 20, but they were all booked, and I finally find one down in Franklin. Uh, pretty cool place to hang out if, you've, uh, if you're broke down, by the way. Highly recommend it. Lots of places to go and hang out and eat and blow your money. Um, but anyway, here I sit, and um, earlier today, my boss decided he was desperate to have a driver back at the yard. And uh, during these Kung Flu times, we have to uh, take desperate measures when we're desperate to get something done, right? So I, I start looking for rental cars because I'm this self-concierge guy now. And I uh, find out that none of the rental car agencies in Nashville at all will let me take a one-way rental back to the terminal so I can pull another load uh, for our company. Very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. And I finally just decide uh, to tell the boss I'm going to look for a flight because uh, he, he seems pretty desperate. And I'm like, look, man, just let me find a flight and I will get back there and pull your load. So here I am waiting in a hotel to be able to go to uh, the airport and fly back just so I could pull one load. One load. Is there a driver shortage? I think so. So this has been a really silly rambling video and I just wanted to come on here and tell about my, my day, my week, and how excited I am to be a driver trainer, how honored I am, and um, Please pray for me that I don't uh, screw this up. I want to do a great job for my company, and I want to do a great job for my family and for myself. 
and for the Lord. So with that, I am very tired and silly on Benadryl, and I'm going to go to bed. I'm out. This has been Trucker J.